All right, so the next example is 11. So here, yes, I will imagine this with x not in the denominator. That's hard to, for me to deal with, with x in the denominator. I will, in my mind, convert this to x to a negative power. So in my mind, I will say that this is x to the power of minus 13 15. I won't write this down. It's not worth writing down. More, more often than not, writing things down is a distraction. It takes your attention away from your train of thought. It makes you look in a different direction. It takes time. It's an opportunity to make a mistake. So for all of these reasons, err on the side of not writing intermediate steps down. Just like, <laughs> I just used this analogy in a different video. You don't want to look at a basketball when you're dribbling, or else you won't see where your teammates are. And you don't want to look at your fingers when you're typing, because you won't see what's on the screen. And you don't want to look at your feet when you're dancing, because you'll be, you won't see where everybody else is. So for that reason, you don't want to look elsewhere on your sheet and take all of the mental energy and put it towards writing stuff down. So in all, in this course and beyond, always err on the side of not writing the intermediate step down. And you will just see how easier things become. Because you don't have to be nervous about not losing your spot or not losing your train of thought. This is a classical example. I would definitely not write down x to the minus 13 15th. I'll just imagine it in my head. And I'll know that it must have come from x to the 2 15th. This is me adding 1 to minus 13 15th. Minus 13 15th plus 1 is 2 15th. So it came from 2 15th. And at this point, I know I got the power right. I know I got the power right, so I won't worry about it anymore. I will only worry about the coefficient. And so I will now take a mental derivative of this, which tells me that 2 15th will come down, which I don't have. So to make up for it, I have to have 15 seconds, and then times 11. So 15 seconds times 11, 165 seconds, if I'm correct plus C, okay? A problem like this should be done in one step. Yes, let's go over that constant again. So the first thing, do you guys agree with me, or you in particular, on the power? So once you get the power right, you don't think about the power anymore. And also for the time being, I'm forgetting about the 11. So I'll take care of the 11 afterwards. It's just a multi multiplicative factor. I can multiply by it first, I can multiply by it in the middle, I can multiply by it at the end. It doesn't matter. I just choose to multiply by it at the end because I want to focus on other things. So 11 will come into play at the very last moment. So once I got the power right, I stopped thinking about the power. And now I just have to imagine, figure out what the right coefficient is. So I Imagine differentiating this, and that tells me that 2 15th comes down. But 2 15th is wrong. What I want is 1. You can say that what I want is 11, but no, I'm also forgetting about the 11 for now. So what I want is 1. Without the 11, it's just 1 divided by this. So I want a coefficient of 1, but instead this gives me a coefficient of 2 15th. So how do I make up for it? by putting in 15 halves. So it's 15 halves, and now that I've taken care of that, I remember that there's also a factor of 11, so I, so I throw it in as a multiplicative factor, so it becomes 11 times 15 halves. And you can leave it like that. I don't expect you to multiply large numbers. That's not important. But 11 times 15 happens to be 165, so it becomes 165 over 2.